We're with number 15, uh, super late model of Jeremy Strunk. And uh, Jeremy, are you ready to get back out and fire on it again for the first time this year? Yeah, yeah, we're ready. We've went through and uh, redone a lot of things on the car this year. We had to take it to the jig after a bad incident at Ponderosa last year. Uh, you talk about the incident where you got the nose ripped off and you chased the guy on a four-wheeler. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's how everybody remembers that one. But, you know, we're, we're learning from it. And, hey, it got a lot of exposure from my sponsors. Everybody knows who Jeremy Strunk is now. <laughs> that's for sure. That's for sure. So, uh, during this major offseason, you got everything lined out. You think it's ready to set on go for tonight? I think it's as ready as I know how. I've called everybody I can get to help me with it, and I think it's as ready as we know how to get it. Now, I could be wrong, but you do run a crate motor, yes. right? You're one of the few here that do, actually. Yeah, yeah. We've got a super car at home that my dad drives from time to time, but this is my crate car. And, I mean, we feel like we're pretty competitive with it. And uh, so, Jeremy, um, other than your uh, – incident last year at Ponderosa. Things seem to be going a lot better since, you know, the incident with the trailer burning down. And it uh, seemed like you recovered pretty well. And, buddy, we're really looking forward to seeing what you do out here tonight. Yeah, we've had, you know, we've had, we've been blessed to have many people helping us get back going. You know, without the help of a lot of people, though, we couldn't have done it. You know, everybody was willing to pitch in and help us get back going. And that just, it means a lot. It shows how big the racing community really is. Yeah, well, Jeremy, I appreciate you talking to me. Good luck yep. tonight, buddy, and hopefully we see you in the winter circle yep, tonight. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you. All right, guys, we're here with Dalton Brown, the uh, what, 23B. Yes, sir. Okay, the 23B late model. Uh, it's a crate motor, if I'm not mistaken, yes, right? So he's going to be out competing with the Supers tonight. And, uh, well, he's had a long off season to get prepared. So uh, how do you feel about that? I feel pretty good. Uh, this car is a new car to us. We got it about last week. We put a whole other car together in a week. Um, Jackie Boggs and everybody at 4B Motorsports really helped us out. Was hoping to get it out in practice last night and had some clutch issues, and Jeremy Shrunk really helped us there and fixed it. So hopefully with it being hot enough, track will get slick and have a chance with this crate motor. Well, I'm glad to hear that you guys are out here and ready to go. We saw you down at Smoky Mountain a couple weeks ago. Looked uh, a little rough, but the car looked really good out there. So, uh, you know, hopefully tonight you guys can uh, finish really, really, really far up front. You know, at least a lap ahead of everybody else, <laughs> and uh, you know, get a, get a good win under your belt. Uh, how, how, how you feeling about tonight? You you just ready to go? Ready to get it started? It's been too long, ain't it? Yeah, I don't know what this new car's gonna do. We was hoping to get it out last night, just didn't make it. Uh, yeah, down there at Smoky Mountain, those boys they were on their games down there. We was way off down there. <laughs> But now, nah, hopefully it gets slick and we'll be all right tonight. Well, Dalton Brown, I appreciate you talking to us and uh, good luck out there tonight, buddy. Thanks, Have sir. fun. Thank you. Here with Steve Stalin, the number 17 super late model. Steve, how you been this year? Oh, been good, been good. You been enjoying that off season? No, no, no. I hate it, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, taking advantage of it though, getting the car lined out a little bit? We're ready to go. We quit working on it at two o'clock today, so oh. it, hopefully she's ready. Hopefully she's dialed in, ready to go. Well, that's good. They got a, got a few fast ones here tonight that I see. It ought to be some good racing, man. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. We're itching. Well, I was wondering if you was going to be here tonight. I was hoping so, because uh, last time around, you were one of the only ones that would talk to me. So uh, I, I figured if I could find you, I know I'd get a conversation out of you. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not shy of the camera. <laughs> I don't have the camera face, but I got the voice, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see. What did you do over the off season? What's new on this thing? Well, we did a uh, freshen the motor up, all the shocks, everything on is fresh, ready to go. So we're, we're ready to rip and tear tonight. 
Well, you, with the new body, I really hope you don't rip and tear tonight. Well, yeah, well, you know, my buddies will give me a hard time because Brandon put fresh paint on the wall, and I got a bad habit of rubbing the wall, so <laughs> <laughs> there might be some yellow marks on it for the night. A big yellow streak in yeah. one and two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah especially two. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think tonight? What do you think the challenge is going to be getting around that track tonight? Well, the new clay, uh, I've had some buddies been down practicing, and the new clay, uh, it seems like it's holding up well, uh, so we're just excited to see what, what goes on. You get more cars on it tonight. It looks, right. like, it looks like there's a pretty decent crowd here, so we'll see what, it, what we have for the night. Well, Steve, I'm looking forward to seeing the show you put on tonight, buddy. I appreciate you talking uh, to me right. again. Thank you. All right.